Canto Four, The Vision and the Boon. August and sweet sank hushed that mighty voice. Nothing now moved in the vast brooding space. A stillness came upon the listening world, a mute immensity of the eternal peace. But Aswapati's heart replied to her, a cry amid the silence of the vast. How shall I rest content with mortal days and the dull measure of terrestrial things? I, who have seen behind the cosmic mask the glory and the beauty of thy face. Hard is the doom to which thou binds thy sons. How long shall our spirits battle with the night and bear defeat and the brute yoke of death? We who are vessels of a deathless force and builders of the Godhead of the race. Or if it is thy work I do below, amid the error and waste of human life, in the vague light of man's half-conscious mind, why breaks not in some distant gleam of thee. Ever the centuries and millenniums pass. Where in the greyness is thy coming's ray? Where is the thunder of thy victory's wings? Only we hear the feet of passing gods. A plan in the occult eternal mind mapped out to backward and prophetic sight. The eons ever repeat their changeless round. The cycles all rebuild and ever aspire. All we have done is ever still to do. All breaks and all renews and is the same. Huge revolutions of life's fruitless gyre. The newborn ages perish like the old, as if the sad enigma kept its right till all is done for which this scene was made. Too little the strength that now with us is born, too faint the light that steals through nature's lids, too scant the joy with which she buys our pain. In a brute world that knows not its own sense, thought racked upon the wheel of birth we live, the instruments of an impulse not our own, move to achieve with our heart's blood for price, half-knowledge, 
half creations that soon tire. A foiled immortal soul in perishing limbs, baffled and beaten back, we labor still. And out, frustrated, spent, we still survive. In anguish we labor, that from us may rise a larger seeing man with nobler heart, a golden vessel of the incarnate truth, the executor of the divine attempt, equipped to wear the earthly body of God. Communicant and prophet and lover and king. I know that thy creation cannot fail, for even through the mists of mortal thought, infallible are thy mysterious steps. And though necessity dons the garb of chance, hidden in the blind shifts of fate, she keeps the slow, calm logic of infinity's pace and the inviolate sequence of its will. All life is fixed in an ascending scale, and adamantine is the evolving law. In the beginning is prepared the close. This strange, irrational product of the mire, this compromise between the beast and God, is not the crown of thy miraculous world. I know there shall inform the inconscient selves, at one with nature and at height with heaven, a spirit, Vast as the containing sky And swept with ecstasy From invisible founts A God come down And greater by the fall A power arose out of my slumber's cell Abandoning the tardy limp of the hours and the inconstant blink of mortal sight. There where the thinker sleeps in too much light and intolerant flames the lone all-witnessing eye. Hearing the word of faith from silence heart in the endless moment of eternity. It saw from timelessness the works of time. Overpassed were the leaden formulas of the mind, overpowered the obstacle of mortal space. The unfolding image showed the things to come. A giant dance of Shiva tore the past. There was a thunder as of worlds that fall. Earth was all run with fire and the roar of death clamoring to slay 
a world his hunger had made. There was a clangor of destruction's wings. The titan's battle cry was in my ears. Alarm and rumor shook the armored night. I saw the omnipotence flaming pioneers over the heavenly verge which turns towards life come crowding down the amber stairs of birth forerunners of a divine multitude out of the paths of the morning star they came into the little room of mortal life. I saw them cross the twilight of an age, the sun-eyed children of a marvellous dawn, the great creators with wide brows of calm, the massive barrier breakers of the world, and wrestlers with destiny in her lists of will, the laborers in the quarries of the gods, the messengers of the incommunicable the architects of immortality. Into the fallen human sphere they came, faces that wore the immortal's glory still, voices that communed still with the thoughts of God, bodies made beautiful by the Spirit's light, carrying the magic word, the mystic fire, carrying the Dionysian cup of joy, approaching eyes of a diviner man, lips Chanting an unknown anthem of the soul, feet echoing in the corridors of time, high priests of wisdom, sweetness, might and bliss, discoverers of beauty's sunlit ways, and swimmers of love's laughing fiery floods, and dancers within rapture's golden doors. Their tread one day shall change the suffering earth and justify the light on nature's face. Although fate lingers in the high beyond and the work seems vain on which our heart's force was spent, all shall be done for which our pain was born. Even as of old, Man came behind the beast. This high divine successor surely shall come behind man's inefficient mortal base, behind his vain labor, sweat and blood and tears. He shall know what mortal mind barely durst think. He shall do 
what the heart of the mortal could not dare. Inheritor of the toil of human time, he shall take on him the burden of the gods. All heavenly light shall visit the earth's thought. The might of heaven shall fortify earthly hearts. Earth's deeds shall touch the superhuman's height. Earth's seeing widen into the infinite. Heavy, unchanged, Way still the imperfect world. The splendid youth of time has passed and failed. Heavy and long are the years our labor counts. And still the seals are firm upon man's soul. And weary is the ancient mother's heart. O truth defended in thy secret son, voice of her mighty musings in shut heavens, on things withdrawn within her luminous death, O wisdom, splendor, mother of the universe, creatrix, the eternal's artist bride, linger not long with thy transmuting hand pressed vainly on one golden bar of time, as if time dare not open its heart to God. O radiant fountain of the world's delight, world free and unattainable above, O bliss, Whoever dwellst deep hid within, while men seek thee outside and never find, mystery and muse with hieratic tongue, incarnate the white passion of thy force, mission to earth, some living form of thee. One moment fill with thy eternity. Let thy infinity in one body live. All knowledge wrap one mind in seas of light. All love Throb single in one human heart. Immortal, treading the earth with mortal feet, all heaven's beauty crowd in earthly limbs. Omnipotence, girdle with the power of God, Movements and moments of a mortal will. Pack with the eternal might one human hour. And with one gesture change all future time. Let a great word be spoken from the height. And one great act unlock 
the doors of fate.